The good thing about story, like doing the storytelling piece is that you know you really don't know who you want to inspire. Yeah. All right. All right. Beneath my skin. 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 I'm strong and brave. To my younger self, um, there's nothing wrong with you. It's just your brain just works differently. Uh, tell my younger self, just reach out to people because there, there's always going to be people who are gonna accept you for who you are and and just don't think that the world's out to get you just try to try to like embrace like what comes at you um well my name is jamie zaklenko um i go by all pronouns uh something i learned about myself in the past year is um when it comes to doing things that i'm nervous about but that i want to do i really just kind of have to you know push myself into it like jump into the deep end because otherwise I just won't do it and then I'll forever regret not doing it. So my name is Hasna um, and I think one thing that I learned about myself this year was how brave I am or how strong I really am. I always thought I was an anti-social person because I didn't really go out a lot in like middle school um, but in late high school I started making more friends because I went to a different school and I realized like I like being around people. Like, I just like to be social so I don't feel alone. Even though I'm away from my family, I'll still have people to take care of me and to be around. I think it was the first time that I decided to wear the hijab because um, I wanted to do that for like a while. I had a desire, I had a passion, and I think I was just really nervous of other people's opinions or how uncomfortable it was going to be at first, but I think like doing that, it kind of showed me that like I am brave because I just knew how uncomfortable it was going to be, but I proceeded with it anyways. And now I'm happy that I get to represent myself like as Muslim wearing it. And that's like a part of who I am. I'm Neve O'Connell. Uh, this past year I was diagnosed with autism, which was really big. Hey, Alison. Um, well, I spent most of my life not knowing and being autistic kind of affects everything in your life and not necessarily in a bad way, but I kind of thought I was crazy before I got the validation of an actual diagnosis. Beneath my skin, I am... Oh, I'm gonna have to think about that one now. <laughs> Beneath my skin, I am... Me. I am Amaya. I am a poli sci major. I double minor in legal studies and media and communications. And I don't know, I guess in the past year, I just learned about um, my ability to problem solve and communicate. I used to be, I kept to myself like a lot. I kept to myself so much in like kindergarten that my teacher thought I was mute. So then when my mom um, had a meeting with a teacher she's like oh what do we do about this disability emily has because she's mute my mom's like she's not mute she talks all the time so i just try to like be myself and be talkative around new people i'd say probably throughout a lot of elementary school um that that was kind of my existence i was a very naive very um like loving openly child and um, so some people kind of took advantage of that a little bit and I just kind of went along for the ride there. And I don't think a lot of the adults around me kind of saw that for what it was. They just saw me as like, oh, they're just shy. They're just, there's like, that's the only reason that they're like just friends with one person. Gaze in a mirror, what do you see? A world of potential waiting to be free. Beneath your skin, a question so deep. Uncover your essence, your journey to keep. Unveil your true self and let your spirit ignite. In this quest for truth, this is the fight for your life. Unleash your power, define your own story, and embrace uniqueness and bask in the glory. Live your journey and unlock what's within. You are more than a label. Let this new chapter begin.
Beneath my skin, I am resilient. I've been through a lot and I've made it through. Like in school, teachers or not having the diagnosis, not being believed that I'm autistic. The last game of baseball that I ever played, uh, I struck out in my last at bat, obviously, and then uh, snapped my bat in front of the whole team, threw it, and uh, I would say that, that was probably one of my bigger mistakes. I felt bad about that. As soon as I, as soon as I got into the dugout, all my teammates were there for me. Everyone was cheer, like everyone. There was no lack of cheer or anything. So uh, I guess just I needed to be better. Beneath my skin, I'm confident. Beneath my skin, I am my family. Um, my family is just kind of like my rock, my support. They te taught me my values, what I aspire to be. They sit my support system. I do a lot to like go back and be like, this is what I did and see how they react and just have them with me. Well, I do it for my myself. I do it for myself mostly, but also like my mom. I'm big on family, I'm a big family person. Uh, just trying to like, I don't know. I just really want to set my mom up for success because understanding like struggle, but also like seeing the strong person she is. Like she's my greatest role model. Like she's my best friend. So like she just really held, like holds it down in different situations, most of which were some stressful. Other times it's just regular situations, but I don't know, she's always been the person I confide in with anything I'm really going through and she really knows what to say in the different situations, so. What's life without no problems? So stuff is always happening and uh, I'm a little bit further away from my family for the most part and there's always, like I said, life's always happening. So I got stuff going on, but my mom got stuff going on, my brothers got stuff going on. So I have to have the ability to an extent to solve my own problems and figure stuff out. So just figuring it out. My parents were really busy um, with just life and um, I had to like rely on myself a lot and I kind of like didn't give myself enough credit when I could like manage <laughs> um, living, you know, still with my parents but like m more independent, like cooking my own meals and doing my laundry and stuff like that. Beneath my skin, I am improving. Um, I chose the word improving because, you know, that's really what life is all about. Growing, changing. If you, like, if you encounter a bump in the road, yeah, you might trip, but, you know, as long as you pick yourself up or you ask for help to be, you know, picked up or, like, get a hand, then you're always able to continue on. And as long as you, like, know um, and can, like, kind of feel that, that growth within yourself, you're always kind of grounded to the earth, even in your worst moments.